today we're going to talk about how to make fake blood with products that you probably have in your kitchen already. First of all, we're going to use chocolate syrup and some food coloring. This is a really easy, really basic, also edible way of making blood. Really good for zombie blood. So first you're just going to take a little bit of chocolate syrup, pour it into a container, and then add slowly drops of red food coloring. I'm gonna start with one, two, three drops, and then I'm going to mix it up. And you're gonna see as you mix it um, how red it is. I like using chocolate sauce to make fake blood um, because other than being delicious, it creates a really great base. Sometimes fake blood can look a little too orange and this creates a really nice deep color. This is still a little brown, so I'm slowly gonna add more red. Three more drops, and I'm gonna mix that up really, really well. One thing you wanna be careful of when making fake blood with um, food coloring is that sometimes the food coloring can stain. So if you want this to not stain your skin, your countertops, things like that, just be careful. One little tip I have for putting um, fake blood on your skin is if you use a primer, a makeup primer, that will create a barrier that will protect your skin from the blood. So I'm just gonna dab that on. I like the way this looks for zombie blood um, or for really old blood, but it's still a little too brown for me, so I'm gonna add a couple more drops. And stir, stir, stir. That's getting a little more what I'm going for. But not quite, so I'm gonna add drops, drops, drops. The other great thing about making this kind of blood is um, you can make massive batches of it at home. An entire bottle of chocolate sauce will make you a lot of blood. Yep, and I like the way that that's looking. But that's how you make a cheap and easy fake blood. <laughs>